Cold, wet and windy weather for eastern New South Wales today, with possible heavy falls and flooding on the way for the northeast from tomorrow. Now, our satellite imagery shows plenty of cloud and rainfall streaming down from the northwest, helped along the way by a cold front which moved up through the southern and central coasts of New South Wales last night. Many communities along the east coast are waking to a much more wintry day today with brisk southerly winds and much lower temperatures, as well as this rainfall over these eastern areas that's ongoing at the moment, as you can see from our radar imagery from the last few hours. Now, through the rest of today, this cold front will move up through the northern coast of New South Wales, continuing to generate widespread rain across these eastern districts, as well as some of those adjacent inland areas. We'll also see showers pushing up across southern inland Queensland and further across western Queensland. Thunderstorms are also a risk, mostly through those Queensland areas, but impacting northeastern parts of New South Wales as well. Now, widespread falls of 20 to 50 millimetres are possible across these areas today and may produce wet weather impacts such as water over the roads, blocked drains or reduced visibility, uh, creating poor driving conditions. Into tomorrow, we are expecting to see a low pressure system starting to develop off the northern coast of New South Wales. Now, there are still a few forecast possibilities as to exactly where this low will develop, exactly how intense it will become and exactly where it will move. And all of these factors will determine how much rain we get along those northeastern parts of the New South Wales coast. At this stage, we're only looking at moderate rainfall totals for tomorrow. But into Saturday, as this low pressure system lingers in the area and starts to generate strong uh, moist onshore flow against the New South Wales coast, we could see some heavier falls through the mid-north coast and northern rivers districts of New South Wales with the greater potential for flash and riverine flooding. We are expecting to see the lows gradually starting to move away from the coast during Sunday with much patchier showers continuing along the east coast of New South Wales with lower rainfall totals there too. Now, rainfall accumulations over the next few days are generally going to be moderate through those eastern parts of New South Wales and southeast Queensland. But as you can see, we do have that risk of heavier falls, particularly through northeastern parts of New South Wales. But again, exactly where those highest falls will occur will depend on how strong that low pressure system is and exactly where it moves. We don't currently have any flood watches or warnings current for New South Wales, but we could possibly see some issued over the next couple of days if that low pressure system really becomes more intense and we see those heavier falls developing along those northeast coastal areas. So communities in these areas should keep a close eye on the Bureau's website for forecast and warning updates over the next few days. Now, the other impact of this system is the dangerous surf that it's producing. We're seeing large waves being generated behind the frontal system with hazardous surf developing along the northern and central coastlines of New South Wales. We already have hazardous surf warnings current and these may extend through into southeast Queensland as well. Now, these large waves and dangerous uh, surf conditions will start to ease back later in the weekend as the low pressure system moves away and winds back down. But we are still looking at some pretty blustery weather out on the waters over the next couple of days. Now this situation is unfolding at the moment with that low not expected to develop until tomorrow. So it is essential to keep an eye on the forecasts and warnings via the Bureau's website or the BOM social media. Stay safe and we'll catch you in the next update.